hi everyone and welcome back to my channel and if this is your first time here then hi my name is Lauren and on my channel we mostly talk about anything luxury but we also discuss lifestyle and beauty so if you're interested in any of these topics please consider subscribing to my channel and we'll get started with the video In today's video, I'm presenting you a short and easy tutorial on how to pronounce your favorite French luxury brands correctly. This will impress your friends, your essays, and might even help you get very sought after items. I was actually shown three different Hermes bags with no purchase history whatsoever, simply because I spoke French, just saying. So if you're interested in seeing this video, then please keep on watching. So as some of you may have recognized from my accent, French is my first language, but I also teach it for a living. So in that spirit, we'll go from the easiest to the hardest one to pronounce. Let's start. And of course, as always, I will write it down here for spelling just so you can see. So let's start with, of course, my favorite one, surprise, surprise. And it's also the easiest, so it's a good coincidence. It's Chanel. So very, very easy and extremely similar to English. There's just, I would say, one difference. So if we start with the first syllable, so we have cha, so French ch is sh, like sh, cha, nel. And then there is kind of an emphasis on the n, nel. I believe that in English you would say Chanel, um, and it's kind of like on the quieter side and definitely no emphasis on neither the n nor the l. And in French it's definitely that way, so it goes Chanel. Um, and then even for Parisian people, they kind of tend to add like E's um, that don't exist at the end of every word. So if you want to sound like the perfect Parisian, you would go ahead and say Chanel. <laughs> um, but yeah, that's not my style. So let's stick to the real thing, which is Chanel. Let's go ahead again. Chanel. So number two, you'll see is also very easy and also very short. So I went from like shorter words to longer, longer, even some two or three words. Um, so the second one is also very short and it's going to be Dior um, and so here again it's very similar to English I believe that in English you say Dior um, and here the massive difference is the way that you pronounce the R's French has very kind of guttural R's they come from deep down so they come from your th throat so you kind of have to think like you're upset like you know like in the comic books that you may read it goes when the, um, when the protagonist is upset and it's kind of the same. So think that you're upset at the store for having such ridiculous prices. Um, so it's going to be Dior, Dior. Um, so the first, um, the first couple of letters are really easy. It's kind of exactly the same as English. So I would say really uh, try to focus your emphasis on the R um, and then kind of have it go up. Um, so if we think of like different tones, you know, like English has different tones. I know Chinese has different tones. French also has that kind of thing, and so there is kind of an emphasis towards the last letter here, so it goes Dior. For number three, I chose a very famous brand of outerwear, and it's going to be Montclair. So here I would say it's fairly easy and kind of building on what we just learned in the last word. So if we look at the first syllable, we have Mon, so O-N in French is un, so it goes un, O-N, Mon. Claire. And so here, similar to Dior, we have this kind of guttural R that comes from the throat that we put an emphasis on it, especially because, again, it's the last letter of the word. So let's go ahead and pronounce it all together. We have Montclair. Montclair. So next up, and you'll see I'm raising the difficulty level by a tiny bit, we have Hermès. And here, before I start anything, I've actually done an entire video on how to pronounce Hermès vocabulary in French. So anything going from bag models, types of leather, even colors, anything and everything in the, is in this video. So if you're ever interested, I will actually leave the video in the little information link over here for you to see it because it's actually very helpful, especially when going to your essay, especially when you go to the Hermes store, if you ever want to have the luck of having uh, a bag shown to you that's really helpful. Like I said in the beginning of the video, it really helped me out a ton, so I hope it works for you. Um, but let's go ahead and start with actually the name of the brand, and here it's really easy. So first, the H is silent, so we'll kind of like get rid of that, um, and that's something that we don't have to worry about. 
And then we'll break it down in two pieces. So first we have the first syllable, er. So remember the R is very guttural, it comes from deep down. Er, mess. And so here, French has three types of accents on the E. There is the E that goes accent this way, accent aigu. Then we have the E that's on um, Hermès, so it goes E and then this type of accent, that's the accent grave. And then we have the accent circumflex, so E and then the little um, sign like this, it kind of reminds me of the roof of a house. Um, and that's the accent circumflex, so accent aigu is E. Accent grave, which is the one that's present on Hermès, is E. And an accent circumflex is E as well. So those two are pronounced the same. There's no way to tell by the pronunciation which one is which. But to go back to Hermès, we have the accent grave. So it goes Hermès. And then at the end, there is an S. And like I mentioned before, French has kind of different um, emphasis on different letters. I would say that when you don't know, if you're in doubt, um, if for example, you don't know the word, I would say there is a very uh, strong likelihood that the emphasis is on the last letter and for Hermès it's definitely the case because the S kind of goes like, I would say, uh, little snakes that go towards you, it goes <laughs> that kind of stuff. Um, so if we do it again, it's Hermès, Hermès, see, not that difficult. Next up, we have a brand that makes really beautiful jackets and it's of course Balmain. And here it's very simple because it's still a very short word. Um, I believe that in English you pronounce it Balmain, if I'm correct. Um, but in French, that's a little off. So the first syllable is very similar to English, Bal. So that's gonna be taken out of the way right away. But then after that, we have a slightly different pronunciation. So A-I-N in French is un. Um, and it might sound like, you know, when people say huh in English, when they want you to repeat your sentence, they say huh. In French, we say ah, <laughs> um, and it's actually the same. Um, so, balma, balma, balma. Um, and then for the little story for you to remember, bal is of course ball, like, you know, when people go dancing, and then ma is actually the hand in French, so it's the ball of the hands. Um, <laughs> for you to just like kind of help remember it, that always helps, I feel like, with my students. So if you're struggling, it's the ball of the hands, bal, ma. So next up, we're going to have a brand that I like a lot, and it's Givenchy, and it's going to be the last one of the one word um, brands. After that, it's gonna be two words or even three words. Um, don't be discouraged because we'll get through it. Uh, but let's go ahead and start with Givenchy. So here it's fairly easy still. I would say there's a little of a complication in the EN sound, but other than that, it really shouldn't be too bad. Um, so let's go ahead and start with the G. G in French is pronounced J, J, Vent. J is easy. J, Vent. EN is EN. J, Vent. She. CH, remember, sh, j, vent, she. Not too bad, right? J, vent, she. Let's go again. J, vent, she. And now moving on to the two letter words. The first one is, of course, LV. I really had to put that one in. So it's going to be Louis Vuitton. Let's take care of the first word. Um, so remember, OU is OU. Louis. The S is silent. Lou, I, and then the second word, Vuitton. So here, O, N, un, Louis, Vuitton. Louis, Vuitton. Let's go with the first word again. Louis, Louis. And then the second one, Vuitton, Vuitton. So we have Louis, Vuitton. So for the next word, I've ramped up the level of difficulty by quite a bit, but don't be discouraged because we'll still get there. So it's going to be Christian Louboutin. Of course, we'll take care of the first word first. So it's going to be Christian instead of Christian. We're going to do Christian. So let's break it down into two syllables. Chris, similar, just the R is kind of guttural, comes from the throat. Chris, the S is the little snake that come towards you. Chris, and then the last syllable is Tian. Um, so A-N in French is an. So Christian. Christian, 
Now let's go ahead and try the second word and that's going to be Louboutin. Um, and so again, let's break it down. This time three syllables. So Lou, L-O-U, Lou. Um, it's actually a first name in French. Lou, Bou, O-U, Lou, Bou, Tin. I-N is un, Lou, Bou, Tin. So it's going to be all together Christian Louboutin. Let's try. Christian, Christian, Lou, Bou, Tin. Lou, Bou, Tin. So all together it's going to be Christian Louboutin. The next one isn't actually a real designer, but when you look at their prices, I would categorize that as luxury. And it's lingerie, and it's going to be, of course, agent provocateur. So let's go ahead and start with the first one. So instead of agent, we have agent. So a is a, like if you're surprised. A, a, Jean. I n is en, agent. The T is silent. Agent. And then let's go ahead with the second word. We have provocateur. So pro, the R comes from deep down. Pro, vo, it's kind of easy. Pro, vo, ca, pro, vo, ca, teur. EU is E, pro, vo, ca, teur. And then the R again comes from deep down. So we have agent, provocateur. Let's go ahead. Agent, Provocateur. Agent provocateur. All right, and so I've kept the best for last. Um, so that actually, unfortunately, means the most difficult. It's the brand that has three different words. But you'll see, we'll go ahead and get through it. It won't be too bad. So it's, of course, YSL, so Yves Saint Laurent. Let's go ahead and break it down into the three different words. If we start with the first word, it's actually a first name in French for a guy. Yves, so here the emphasis is on the Y, which kind of behaves like an I. Yves, the S is silent, so that makes it fairly easy. Yves. Moving on to the second word, we have sans, and so here A-I-N-T is un in French. The T is silent, sans. So if we go again from the top, we have Yves, sans. And then the third word is also um, a French name for a guy and it goes Laurent, and so here we have three different things to remember. Uh, actually, I would say four. <laughs> um, so the first one is AU is O, Lo, and then we have the R which comes from deep down, Lor, En, I-N is En, Lo, Ran, and the T is silent, as you saw, I didn't pronounce it, so Laurent. So if we go from the top, we have Yves, Saint, Laurent. So it's going to be Yves Saint Laurent. So that's it for this video, guys. I hope that it was helpful and beneficial for you. And of course, these things take time. So don't worry if you don't get it right the first time. These things take a lot of practice. So make sure that you have my video on repeat for two or three times and make sure that you repeat as I'm going because that will definitely help you. I hope that you still had fun doing it and that it wasn't too bad. If you like this video, please give it a big thumbs up subscribe and I'll see you in my next one.